Good morning. What do you want to do? Do you want to go outside? Do you want to go outside? Where's your brother? Looks like you two have been fighting in the night or something. What's going on here? Where's the Daily Whaley? Where's the Daily Whaley? Can't even see him. Where is the Daily Whaley? Oh, there he is. Are you coming out, Dale, or what? Yuck. Well, good morning. Friday, the 8th of January. It's nearly the weekend. Woohoo! <laughs> I'll have to check my diary, see what I'm doing. Uh, it was forecast snow here last night by the looks of it. We haven't had any. Just spoke to Amy and they've had loads. And they only live about 25 minute drive away, but they are higher up. So they've got loads of snow. She sent me a photograph. So George is very excited. I think they're gonna go and build a snowman. It's very cold here. Um, I put off a lot of boaty jobs yesterday because my eye was giving me a little bit of jib well, it, was, it was aching so I put off my eye and it'll be clean and everything so I've got to do it today regardless otherwise I'll be walking around naked <laughs> went in my wardrobe this morning um, and I've only got a couple of shirts in there so I've got a wine I've got a wine oh I haven't got a lot else to do have I We are getting lots and lots of geese going over. Very noisy birds, geese. Getting lots of them going over now. Heading for warmer climbs. I have asked them for a lift, but they don't stop. Malcolm, God bless him, has uh, just took me shopping. Very traumatic. <laughs> People that watch this uh, know that I don't like shopping at the best of times. Uh, but that was quite upsetting. I used to always have some frozen sausages on board. Now this is going to sound so stupid, trust me. Um, and I used to love them and they were so easy and convenient. Just put a couple in the oven. Half an hour later you got a nice sausage sandwich or something. And they were really nice. Um, and I thought, you know what, I'm going to get them again. Um, I never used to get them. I didn't know where they were in the shop. So trying to find them in the shop. And I was looking and looking them with my eyes. I couldn't see a thing. In the end, I had two ladies helping me. And in the end, they, they did find them. Uh, and I was getting upset. I was physically getting upset. So I had to get out of the shop pretty quick. It's so stupid. Getting upset over frozen bloody sausages. But uh, yeah, it's weird how things can get you get, can get to you at the weirdest of times. But uh, I suppose that's life sometimes, isn't it? <laughs> oh, look at that little fella! What a cutie! And talking of cuties, hello, Daily Whaley. <laughs> You're going all shy. Are you going all shy? No, you're not. Chipster Whipster's not shy. Are you, Chipster? Eh? No. Oh, charming. Well, it's nearly midday. I'm trying to summon the energy up uh, to get my chores done and make some dinner. It's raining and sleeting. It's awful out there. Um, but it has been snowing uh, quite heavily again where my daughter lives. And look at this picture that she sent me. Little George with his first ever snowman looking as proud as Punch. Isn't that brilliant? Brilliant. Um, yeah, that would have been nice to be there with him when he's making it. I don't know what Chip thinks he's doing. He sort of slipped off the couch. And uh, yeah, he's, he, he seems quite comfy there. You all right there, Chip? Leaning with your bum 
under my chin. Are you okay? Yeah? They just get themselves comfy, don't they? And they don't care. Oh, quite honestly, neither do I. <laughs> oh, it's a misty, very cold morning. And I have a chihuahua jumping up at me. He's getting a little impatient, I think. Hello. And what do you want to do? And what do you want to do this morning? Your brother's still in his pit. Do you want to go for a wee wee? Do you, baby? Oh, yes, you do. Oh, okay. Little doggy, little daily Whaley is getting very, very lazy. I've had to put the light on because you're always hiding, daily Whaley. D Dale, do you who? <laughs> do you want to go for a wee wee? Oh, oh, hey, the weekend's here. Yes, it's uh, it's Saturday. The 9th of January. I uh, heard off my daughter um, last night. I've had an appointment through from my eye. Um, next eye appointment. Hello. Yeah, we're going in a second. Um, and it's a month today. The 9th of February I'm going in. It's at 6 o'clock at night. So, uh, yeah, not the best of appointments, but it's an appointment. Um, so in this present climate, you have to be thankful for that. So that's good. Um on a positive note, my eye, if I look, has cleared somewhat. I would say it's 10 to 15 percent better than it was a couple of days ago. I've woke up with no headache, no eye strain or nothing. Chip. So, uh, yeah, feeling much better. I've had a rough couple of days, truth be known, but I didn't want to moan about it. But uh, I've had a lot of headaches and eye strain. And yesterday afternoon was a washout. I've still got a load of ironing to do. I haven't done that yet, so that'll have to be done. Clean the fire, clean the boat. Usual stuff. You're, you're probably getting to know the routine now. Oh, I've got to walk these two little horrors first. Look at the chips, the whips. I don't know whether you can see him. Hold on a minute. He's just there with his tail wagging. What do you want? Where do you want to go? do actually love mornings like this it's uh, it's a beautiful morning it would be a nice morning to go for a nice towpath walk it's not crisp enough for a towpath walk this morning um, no I'd be covered in mud it's all slushy and horrible the towpaths at the moment but I'm, I'm missing I'm missing the cut even though I'm on the water it's not the same. Well, I did start to walk up that hill and to walk around a bit. But this road is like a sheet of black ice. So the boys have been to the toilet. So it's back to the warmth of chugs. I'll tell you what I have noticed. That it's lighter later at night. Which is good. Springs around the corner couple of months and we'll have spring mornings my favorite time of year oh, I've got to be back in chugs well, it's cold out there all right breakfast time I think you know the routine better than I do don't you uh, yeah yogurt and a banana this morning and then probably bangers and beans on toast for dinner. That's nice. Yeah, I went shopping with Malcolm, as you saw yesterday. And I did try to get some broccoli. I wanted to do broccoli, cauliflower and stilton soup. Uh, for Ian and myself. Believe it or not, a large, famous uh, supermarket in the UK had no broccoli. Then they didn't have any at all in the shop. 
so I couldn't get it. Um, so I was going to make a soup for us for tonight, uh, perhaps last night I meant, but uh, I couldn't do it. So unfortunately, <laughs> I've missed my turn with the meals thing with uh, with Ian. So uh, I don't know what we're doing tonight. I have no idea. Probably fend for ourselves. I've got some ready meals. Just ping them in the microwave. They're not the best, I know, but uh, they put food in my belly. Well, it's probably about 45 minutes an hour after that last little clip you saw. And I've had a phone call off Amy that uh, she's about 5-10 minutes away. So I'm just walking up. I've left the boys on the boat. I'm just walking up to the barrier as she's got my prescription, my tablet. God bless her. So, uh, yeah, she just leaves them on the floor and I pick them up. Socially distanced, of course, but... Uh, it's horrible to see a loved one there and you can't hug them or go for a coffee with them or invite them to your home even. Yeah, it's, it's hard going. Oh, that low sun this morning. If I was cruising, that would be hard work if you were cruising into that. Yes, Amy comes up once a month to bring my tablets, bless her. And she is allowed, for medical reasons, she is allowed. She's not allowed in the marina, as the marina is now closed off to the public. So uh, no visitors in the marina, and that's why I'm walking to the barrier. Now with this full lockdown, the train tracks have got a lot quieter. Nowhere near as much traffic. These roads are slippy. Should have brought me skates. During the lockdown, I have been taking every precaution I can. And I did have some sad news last night that a subscriber to my channel, an avid follower and a fellow boater, has passed away from COVID. Uh, yes, I'm not going to give his name away. Well, his name is Gareth. Big fella, heart of gold. Um, so very sad news, very sad news. Rest in peace, mate. That's it, bless, I've got me pills. Keep me going again for another month. Quite upsetting not being able to hug your daughter. We had a nice little socially distanced walk, <laughs> only around the car park. But still, it's broke the day up a little bit. Oh dear, back to the boat. And the boys. And Groundhog Day. Well, it's a little bit later. I've come back to the boat after seeing Amy and that. I've cleaned the fire out, but I'm finding today very difficult. Um, just feeling really down today. I've got a I've got to sort myself out. I've got too many jobs to do and I need to do them. But I'm really feeling it today. The lonely, loneliness of it all. Just not having a good day. <laughs> we all get them. We all get them. Today is, is really hurting. Really hurting. Well, I've had a nice clean through the boat, hoovered and polished to clean the fire out. Looks lovely out there today, it is cold. There's my ironing. That's what I'm going to do in a minute. Oh, I just need my life back. Same as everybody else. I don't know what that means either. There would be about 30 boats a day. And uh, I know people are breaking the rules because they're finding it difficult and breaking the rules in quite a big way. You know, having big parties at Christmas and things like that. I know, I've seen it and uh, it's just terrible. Um, and they'll probably be the first to moan if they lose someone dear to them. I think we all have to, I know we've all got our own views and I respect that, I really do. But I think there comes a time now that we have to sort of pull together and try our best. 
the variety that I do try and give to everyone. I just want to say something about the video I published the other day. Well, it looks glorious out there. Yep, the ironing's all done. It's there hanging up. I've got to go and put it away, put the ironing board away, the iron and everything. I'm still on very much of a downer. Um, I will snap out of it. It's such a beautiful day out there. Um, I've got to take the boys for a walk. <laughs> Chip's clawing my leg. Take the boys for a walk and come back and prepare a bit of a light lunch. And then I might have a look at that aroma diffuser and uh, Google about uh, the scents that are okay for dogs. But yeah, that's how I do my ironing. I set up either YouTube or put a film on, watch my favourite vloggers or lots of different vloggers and uh, all sorts, really. And it just passes the time away. But uh, I'm glad all my chores are done. <sighs> Groundhog Day. I don't know whether you can see that little boat there, but I have had a subscriber ask if I could pop up and have a look at the boat. I think it was called Macy. Um, but there's no one in the brokerage up there, I'm afraid. It's uh, it's like a ghost town, so I can't go on and have a look at it for you, I'm afraid. But that, there she is. And because I've got Chippendale, I know Chippendale will not walk along that pontoon. But if I get a chance, I'll come and have a look through the window, but not a lot I can do, I'm afraid. It's dead. There's nobody there at all, obviously with the shutdown, the lockdown. It's quite sad to see the chandlery there as well. Sort of missing that place, but uh, hopefully the days will come. Yeah, still on furlough there, and I think I'm on furlough now till I think it was the end of March. So a long way to go yet. But hopefully, better weather then. Yeah, it is nice when I'm walking Chippendale. Come here, it's car coming. Um, when you bump into, well, not literally bump into, but people are walking their dogs as we are allowed to. That's one thing we are allowed to do. And it's nice that you can have uh, just a little bit of a chat with them. Pass a couple of minutes of the day. It's nice. Load more geese flying over. Oh, I wish I had wings. Okay, so there it is. I'm sitting here with the remote in my hand, so let me press power. Oh, wow. Oh, it's just missed. Hold on. There's a button here that says missed mode. Let me knock that off. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I didn't know it did that. Wow, look at that. Is it supposed to do that or is it on fire? Blimey. And you can change the brightness. Oh, wow. And, oh, you can turn the light off, obviously, but still have it working. Oh, isn't that beautiful? And I can smell it already. That is so beautiful. Thank you so much. That is absolutely beautiful, believe it or not. I can smell it already. It's been on 30 seconds. That is gorgeous. I don't know how long the water lasts. Um, I should time it, really. Right, it's about 20 past four now. I'll have a look and see when the mist stops. But, uh, oh, that, that's beautiful. It smells gorgeous. So special. Thank you so much. Now, I am aware it's near the guitar, and perhaps the oils might damage the guitar. So I'm going to try and move the guitar perhaps down here and rearrange things up there, but we'll see. I'm keeping an eye on it. And of course, Rosie and Jim are very, very, very precious. Little passengers on board, chug a bug, and they will be with me for the rest of my life. They were a present off Kim when we came back from the Langothlin. So I've had to move them over there for now. Quite like them there, actually. Three special presents, look. Rosie and Jim, the diffuser, and of course, my guitar of Jonathan and Debs. How special. Of course, through all this, I will be keeping an eye on Chippendale, just making sure that they're content with it and they're happy with it. Oh, it, it just smells beautiful. There's one in there that smells like Christmas as well. And, uh, oh, it's such a shame I didn't have the remote to uh, to have that one on. Beautiful.
it'll be treasured. Well, it's evening time now and I am looking forward to going to bed. I'm quite tired. It's been somewhat of a, an emotional roller coaster um, the last couple of days. It's not easy sometimes, but little gifts like my aroma diffuser uh, sort of help me get through it a little bit. Uh, but I'm just about to go to bed now. Very tired, very drained. Let's hope for better days. Take care, everyone. And we'll catch you next time on Chuggerbug. <laughs>